got lemons, granulated sugar, some Angostura bitters, a sprig of rosemary, ginger, and that there is called mixed essence. So it's a combination of vanilla, almond, and a few things. If you head over to your local West Indian grocery store, you will find it there, or you can find it. I think Carib Shopper may have it. If not, try Amazon and the other sort of Caribbean um, online grocers. You also need some water, and of course you'll need ice. To help pull out the flavor from the ginger, all I did was I smashed it, and I want three large pieces of ginger. You can control the amount of the ginger flavor in this ginger lemonade, but uh, you know, it is one of them things whenever my dad would make it. You know, the man goes crazy with ginger, let's just say that. Christmas time when he makes his ginger beer, the thing burns your eyes. That's how, he, how much he loves ginger. So all I did was, using my pestle, I smashed the ginger because we want to pull out that flavor. And since we're dealing with warm water, what I'm gonna do is create that ginger syrup. Of course, if you're doing a syrup, you're gonna need sugar. And all we wanna do is bring that up, you know, let it simmer, and bring it up to a boil. As soon as it starts boiling, we're gonna turn off the stove. Just gonna hit that a little mixy mix like so, just because we want to melt that sugar, and that's gonna create the syrup, don't worry. If there are specks, you know, you've seen specks of the skin. Yeah, and I wash the ginger first. May, uh, may I be clear about that? You don't need to peel the ginger. I have never peeled ginger in my life. Anyhow, wash it, smash it, put it in there, bring it up to a boil, and then we're gonna re let it go for about a minute or two on that boil, and we're gonna shut off the stove and let it completely cool, after which we're gonna strain it just to get rid of all those little pieces there. So it's come up. It is starting to come up to a boil. So all I'm gonna do now is turn off the stove and allow that to cool completely. If you wanted to stick it in the fridge to cool down, that's fine. I just like leaving it on the counter here so it will naturally cool down and pull out more of that ginger flavor. As the ginger syrup cools down, we're just gonna juice the lemons. And I have one of these little gizmos here I picked up a while ago. And what I like about it is, it catches the seeds for me. So, if any seeds fell, it'll be caught in there. I mean to say, you can squeeze it by hand, it's totally up to you, but I might have this little device as I said, and I'm gonna make use of it, yeah? All you need to do is continue juicing the lemons. I'm gonna use three and four, five. I'm gonna use five lemons, and I'm gonna hold back one for garnishing. After which, we're just gonna strain the chilled ginger syrup into into the pot. Into and I'm using a big mixing bowl because uh, it's easier for me to show you guys. But. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to make it in the same jug that you're going to be serving it in. That is cool as well too. At this point, I'm going to add that mixed essence. We've got that Angostura bitters. I guess you can use your favorite bitters. I am from Trinidad and Tobago, the home of Angostura bitters. So when mommy or daddy would make this for us. And they wouldn't use um, these lemons. These lemons are not native to the Caribbean. Um, they would use the rough skin lemon or gospel. The other thing at times dad would use would be shaddock because we have a big shaddock tree um, in the backyard and that shaddock is a type of grapefruit so it works with grapefruit as well too. All you would do now is taste it and see how powerful it is for you. If it's sweet enough, if it's, if it's overly tart, if it's overly sweet, I would recommend adding a couple more cups of water in there. But again, totally up to you. This recipe I wanted to share yo earlier in the summer. It is early September. I think it's like the first week of September. I, I know it's the first week of September. And it is insanely hot here in Ontario, Canada. Right now, outside is 43, 43 degrees Celsius. You multiply and calculate your Fahrenheit. You will understand how hot it is. Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. 
If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, hi Irene. After you put everything into the pitcher here, and that's one of the things, keep in mind that when you add ice to it, it will water it down quite a bit. So in case if you didn't want to put the two cups, extra cups of water, that's fine. Just load it up with ice and you're good. Now for that hint of rosemary, all you would do is just tuck that down in there and as you pour it, the ice cubes will brush against the leaves of the rosemary, thus giving you that hint of rosemary at the end. Ginger lemonade, inspired by the heat of this really hot summer we've had this year. I'm not complaining, but it is something. I mean, it's when daddy would do it or mommy would do it for us. And we won't call this lemonade. We would just call it lemon juice or, or whatever orange juice, uh, grapefruit juice, whatever the citrus was that they would use. She would never, or he would never use rosemary. We didn't like rosemary growing up. To this day, I don't cook with rosemary. The odd time I may cook uh, a rosemary roasted chicken, but I urge you to give this one a try. It is so refreshing, man. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Rosemary infused ginger lemonade. I'm not going to take a sip, even though I am diabetic, and I'm not supposed to because of the sugar content in there. So be mindful of that. I'll take a sip, just for old times' sake. You know what I mean? I don't like using the fake sugar at all, boy. I think this gives me headache. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.